Hi there, welcome back. Let's talk about the machine learning engineering for production specialization on Coursera. So this is the MLOps specialization that was started by Andrew Ng. And this is quite a unique specialization because you don't really find a lot of resources about MLOps on, on the internet, right? You, you find bits and pieces every here and there, right? You find some talks, you find some presentations, but you don't really have one course or specialization that can walk you through the whole pipeline when it comes to uh, bringing a machine learning model to production. And this specialization has the purpose of solving that problem. I mean, it's been all over LinkedIn and I've when I uh, when I heard about it, I just went on, I just got it and I because I wanted to see how Andring presents these concepts. I mean, I've been following his work regarding MLOps for quite a bit and He's got a lot of YouTube videos like from Stanford, HAI and from other channels where he presents his thinking when it comes to MLOps. And his thinking is, is very on point and he's got wonderful explanations. And when you hear him talk, it's like amazing, right? You can literally feel like you're not stupid anymore. And he's got this way of presenting information that can uh, make anybody feel like they understand what he's talking about, even if they don't understand the core concepts, they understand it on a more higher level, okay? And from this perspective, I think this specialization is very useful for a broad spectrum of potential learners. At least the first course can be taken by pretty much a large portion of the population. You don't need to be a, a specialist in order to understand what he's talking about. Okay, so this is the first course, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to talk about the courses a little bit uh, down the line. The whole point is to go through what the specialization is about, and then we're going to break them down and see which courses are useful. If they're useful, we're going to go through the good and the bad. And also I'm going to give you some conclusions regarding the specialization and whether I think you should take it or not. As an overview, right, we all know that, you know, understanding machine learning and deep learning is essential. So you need to understand these concepts. But in order to have um, a successful AI career, you need to be able to bring those machine learning models to production. So you need production engineering capabilities as well. So you need to be comfortable in deploying machine learning models. And this uh, skill set requires a lot more competencies on the side of software engineering and DevOps. Okay. And this is where this specialization comes very handy because it kind of combines the foundational concepts then it goes through modern software development and engineering perspectives on how you can uh, deploy these machine learning models to production. So from this perspective, this is the overview and the sales pitch of this specialization. And it consists of four courses. Uh, the disclaimer is that I've only taken two. Okay. And uh, I've done the first and the second one because at the time when, uh, when I discovered this only these two were available and I just took them both because I wanted to see everything that the guys have been uh, presenting. The first one refers to how to design an end to end machine learning production system, you know, from project scoping, data needs, model strategies and deployment requirements. This course is presented by Andring. And again, he's got a very interesting way of presenting concepts and you really feel like you understand pretty much everything that he's talking about. Uh, the, the second one goes through establishing a model baseline and addresses a couple of concepts like concept drift, prototype, you know, how to develop, deploy and continuously improve a productionalized machine learning application, right? So these two courses I've been through and we can talk a little bit in depth about that. So the first one, right? The first one, introduction to machine learning in production. Again, it's, uh, it's uh, instructor is Andrew Ng. Overall, I think this course is good. Now there, there is a caveat here, right? Talking about the good and the bad. I think this course is relatively simplistic when it comes to the actual practical aspects that you expect to learn from uh, from an MLOps course. 
when you read the presentation or when you see the presentation that Andreas gives, you have the impression that you're going to actually learn practically these concepts. But it's more like, it feels like this course is more like an, um, a grouping of all of his talks on YouTube and on various presentations that he's done for various institutions. So if you have been following him for quite a bit for the past, I don't know, a year or so, you're going to see that pretty much everything that is in this course is covered by his talks. Of course, it's not structured in such a way. And of course, it's beneficial to, to take this course because you understand exactly his type of thinking. But again, if you watch his YouTube videos and if you watch videos of him presenting MLOps, all of the concepts that he describes here are in those free videos. And if we check the reviews, I only look at reviews that have been written by completers. And also, I don't really look at five star reviews because when you look at five star reviews, usually they're kind of like manipulated and a lot of people just put five stars so that they can get the rating up for a specific course. They, they can be biased from that perspective. So I kind of look between two and four stars because these are more realistic. So if we look at two stars, I found the production part absent <laughs> and it's another ML course. You see, so exactly what I was saying, the, the theoretical part of the discussion is useful. Of course it's useful, but you're coming here to get more applied experience from a machine learning course, right? That is focused on MLOps. And you see everybody, well, I mean, not everybody is just like four comments, but still they, they mentioned that it's pretty trivial. Okay. If we look at the four stars review, we can see that, yeah, it was good. It has some great advice, gain key insights. Okay. Are always relevant, of course. But you see, all of them show that this course is more theoretical than just uh, practical that you would be expecting from a machine learning course. Um, let's go to the second course. And this one again, I've taken this one as well. This is presented by Robert Crow, And as you can see, it has 29 reviews. My review on this is that feels a bit like Robert Crow has a lot of knowledge, but he didn't really explain it very clearly compared to the first one, because we're, we're used to Andrew Ng explaining concepts so simply that everybody can understand. But Robert Crow has, um, has a very in-depth knowledge, but sometimes it feels like there, there's some bits that he doesn't really dive deep enough, you know, in order to explain those specific concepts. But overall, I think this course is good and definitely it's worth it. I mean, both of them, they were worth it, of course, but the, the principle is that you kind of need to know also the, the small, let's say bad aspects that can uh, hinder your learning experience. So let's look at the reviews. Again, here you see this course has a lot more, let's say average reviews. So let's go to two stars. And you see people here are a bit disappointed as a follow-up. Of course, they, they got used to Andrew's presentation skills. And then people here says that they were not engaging. And of course, if concepts are way too heavy and they're not explained properly, then it becomes less engaging and people kind of like drift off, you know, like the concept drift, they kind of drift off and you feel like, yeah, I can't be bothered finishing this. I finished it, but again, it feels like it could have been a little bit better from, from a presentation standpoint, the concepts. So the, the content is very good, but it could have been a little bit better. Regarding the third course and the fourth course in this specialization, again, I didn't take them, but let's, uh, let's check the reviews at least, right? So we have machine learning modeling pipelines in production. It is taught also by Robert Crow, but in this uh, course, apparently he's doing a, a more He's doing a better job, right? So great material, insightful notebooks, covers a lot of hot topics. Excellent. This is quite interesting, right? It's a shame that I didn't take this one as well, but it wasn't available when I, when I uh, first saw this uh, specialization. So I only took the first two and based off of that, I thought, ah, okay, I can't be bothered to take the third and fourth if they are in the same 
lines but it appears to it, it appears that the third one the third course is is better than the first two so you you should uh, look into this i think from from the reviews at least it appears that yeah so the the labs are interesting of course it's dependent on gcp but that's not a problem i use gcp a lot and all the concepts that you learn for gcp they're applicable also for aws or azure if you know one you're going to know all of them so so i don't think it's a problem that it's dependent on gcp okay and let's look at the fourth one and i think the fourth one is not available let me see if you look at deploying machine learning models in production so this is uh, taught by Lawrence moroni and okay starting september 20 2021 20, so i think this might be the most interesting course from this whole specialization so it might be worth actually waiting up until september uh, 20th and then get this one and also get the third course and it might be better for you because you won't spend too much time with the, the theoretical aspects and you can dive directly into some actual work actual applied uh, machine learning modeling this is my review overall i think the courses are worth it if you don't follow Andring, definitely the first course is worth it if you follow him and you might be aware of pretty much everything that he's talking about in the first course the second course again it's great content again but the presentation is kind of lacking but again great content the third one as you can see apparently it has very good reviews and it's more practical and the labs are great and it might be a very good choice for uh, for you guys to to follow to take it and the fourth one i'm actually looking forward to this because i really like Lawrence moroni the way he presents things and i think the fourth one will be the best course in this specialization and I, I will take it i might take also the third course so overall look regardless of what it is right regardless of what it is deep learning ai are good at what they're doing and andring and all of these guys right they are leaders in this space and they know what they're talking about if there's one course or one specialization that you need to take on uh, mlops you should take this specialization I really hope that you enjoyed this video let me know what you think down in the comments did you uh, take any of these courses did you enjoy taking these uh, what was your experience and if you didn't i'm going to put down the link below in the description go ahead check it out for yourselves read the comments read the description see if this is something that you might be interested in overall my review is fairly positive again there are pluses and minuses that i mentioned before but i think it's a course and a specialization that you need to take don't forget to click the like button subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content and i'll see you in the next one